because I asked Ralph Ranick, can I ask you whether you think the impact that you've had on this team is what you expected to have when you took the job? And he said, initially, yes, but recently we struggled to score goals. And what discernible impact have you seen Ralph Ranick have on Manchester United? No, I haven't seen him have any impact. Um, you watched the game yesterday, Sam. I'm not sure if they're a, a passing expansive team, if they're a closing down team, if they're a counter-attacking team. And I said at the time when Ranić went in, and I know everybody said, you know, all the other managers and coaches loved him because of his philosophies. He's looking at a dressing room there. And we talk, right, we're going to talk about Paul Pogba in a minute, I think, as well, not you? Like Paul Pogba. Well, we'll do Fernandes. that later on in the Men in Black Exactly, in Men in Black, yeah. And Ronaldo. they're all looking at him going, you've got no kudos. What's, what's on your CV? And there's a fractured um, relationship between all of the players at Manchester United. There's not a togetherness in that team. Now... I think a, a manager with a, a bigger stature wouldn't have indulged people. So Ranić is really swimming against the tide because that culture had set in way before that. And there's a disjointed uh, transfer policy, obviously, when they got Ronaldo, just because he wanted to go, they, they didn't want Man City to have him. Mm. They didn't really need Jason Sancho. They needed a centre midfield player. So there's no clear planning. And I watched a little bit of clips on, uh, on Match Today. I don't think there's any um, cohesion. I don't think players are playing for yeah. each other. I think they're playing for themselves. That's it. You've got no chance if players won't track back or if they won't close down. What chance so, you got? Some, someone who was involved centrally in the game yesterday said to me, there's a lot of players out there today that didn't want to be there. And that, that is and, so... And that, how worrying is that no, for It's Manchester worrying, United? but it's, it's uh, disgraceful for a player to think like that because you should always come off the pitch be able to look at yourself and go, I could have done it any more than I could for the team and for me. You might have bad games, you know, you might decision-making might be bad, but you can't just run around and just think, I'm, I'm not really... How can you not be bothered? It doesn't matter who you play football for, especially, and, and you're playing for one of the biggest clubs in the world. So that... We, we sort of spoke last week about Harry Maguire saying that he likes going away with England and he feels... Uh, and Luke Shaw and Luke Shaw said um, he likes the team spirit and he enjoys it more playing for England because of the club mentality basically what it means is there's fractions at Manchester United and little cliques where they're not bothered if they went how many of those players do you think at the end of that game would have been absolutely distraught you know when you lose a game that should stay with you for at least until your next I know they're going for a warm down your well, next well, training one, session on your next game well one was Cristiano Ronaldo he was so distraught he ended up smashing the phone out of yeah, uh, someone's hand which was absolutely that's ludicrous outrageous that is petulant right you have to conduct yourself at all times you judge people more when things aren't going well than when things are that's when you're true and the Manchester United team has no character there's nothing there there's no fighting spirit and the difference, I think, with Everton, what you saw yesterday, there was a fighting spirit in that match. 